to my channel. So today I'm going to take you through the Prada Candy range. Now there are five different versions of Prada Candy that you can buy just now. There have been other ones released in the past but those have been discontinued so I'm just going to go through the ones that are available to buy now. If you're new to my channel then welcome, I'm always doing perfume reviews like this and I'll leave a link to all different ones below so you can check them out and do subscribe for more of the same. So Prada Candy original Eau de Parfum was released in 2011 and to me this is one of the classic gourmand fragrances that are out on the market today. It is sweet, it's definitely gourmand, but it is a quite unusual type of sweet. Rather than a sort of sugary cupcake sweet, it's a very deep caramel sweet and it, it also smells quite musky to me. So all in all it comes across like a very deep, like a winter candy caramel chocolate thing. <laughs> I think having the musk and the powdery notes with the caramel really makes this into a sophisticated perfume whereas if it was just pure caramel then it would kind of smell perhaps a bit young or a bit cheap. The musk really really adds to it and makes this a nice fragrance. There's benzoin in here and there's also vanilla, um, but if you like the kind of caramel, if you like sweet fragrances, this is definitely one to try. Um, and don't be put off by the caramel because I know people that like this that don't really like sweet fragrances. It dries down into a nice musky sweetness. So the next one that was released is Candy Floral. There was actually an Eau de Toilette of original candy called Candy Low released. That's since been discontinued. So the next one in order is actually Floral. Um, this is, as you would expect, a really floral version of candy. So the caramel is still in there and so is the musk, but what they've done is they've added some um, limoncello and some honey and then topped it all off with um, a huge blast of peony. So when you first spray it you do get that light fresh peoniness and then you get the sort of lemon limoncello -ness. But after a while you, that same caramel musk is still there. Um, people find this one actually quite strong um, so I think it does have quite good ciliage. You can smell this on people and I think if you're looking for something that's a mixture of sweet and floral then this is a really good option for you. So next is Prada Candy Kiss. Now this is quite a departure from the other two. The caramel has been removed. There is still musk in here and there's some vanilla and a sort of fresh orange blossom -niness. But the main scent here is absolutely musk. And I guess the name Kiss, you think of that sort of intimate, sensual, female type smell. I think that's what they were kind of going for here. So this is super musky. This is good for people who like, um, Narcissa Rodriguez or Sarah Jessica Parker Lovely and um, this is a good musk alternative for you. It's kind of like a cottony cleanness, the white bottle, the white packaging is all very clean, um, definitely different to the others and it's find it a bit odd that it's still called candy when it really doesn't have any candiness to it at all. So next up is Prada Candy Gloss. Now I found this to be a really interesting fragrance to smell. It really kind of does smell like lip gloss. The main ingredient here that you get is cherry. So think like cherry lip gloss. But then they've also kept the musk in here and they've added almond and then the vanilla's there. So it's not just like, a, it's not like a cherry chapstick. It is still got that warmth underneath it that you do get with a gloss. Um, it's very unusual to get a perfume like this, I think. After the initial hit of the cherry goes, you do get some of the greenness. There are some green notes in here. And then that soft almondy musk. It's really quite interesting and it does change quite a bit. And it's just not really like any other perfume. It's a little bit unexpected. And I think the idea of having a perfume that smells like a lip gloss at first is a bit odd. But actually, a lot of lip glosses do smell really nice. <laughs> I think this one lasts just as long as the original um, but it is really quite different and it's definitely got a good staying power, maybe five or six hours you'll get out of this with a good few sprays. And then finally we have Prada Candy Sugar Pop. Um, this came out in 2018 and for me this is kind of the youngest of the range. It's 
um, got really fun packaging and colours and I think it's definitely aimed at a sort of teenage market. It's got peach in here, apple, citrus, it's kind of like the Nina Rishi, uh, Nina the apple shaped one. Though the caramel has made a reappearance, you do still get that in the dry down. It is quite fresh, it's not as gourmand as the others and I think it's probably the most safe and conservative. It's a pretty fragrance but nothing different or special in the way that some of the other priority candies are and um, perhaps a little bit generic um, but really good as a gift for someone who you know just likes fresh nice perfumes and um, you can't really go wrong and like I say really good for a younger person who just wants to smell fresh and nice and girly. There are shower gels and body lotions available in the range which really do help to layer that fragrance so I'd always recommend using those if you can if you really like the fragrance. But that's it so let me know if you wear any of these if you tried them what you think of the Prada Candy range and the unusual bottle and bright pink packaging is always fun. Um, and do subscribe for more range videos, perfume review videos. I'm always doing them. Um, but that's it for now. So thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.